We're joined right now by our political insiders, Charlie Giroux, Tony May. Trying to make a little sense of what's been happening today in the Trump administration. Yep. Uh, the president did sign a resolution, a House resolution, which nullifies a Dodd-Frank rule requiring oil and gas companies to disclose taxes and fees that they pay to foreign governments and the U.S. government, Tony. Yes. This is part of his effort to dismantle much of Dodd-Frank, if not all. And it's a puzzle as to why this rule is such a burden for the, the oil companies. I mean, they, they pay their taxes, they have to report all kinds of numbers. What, what they pay to foreign governments might actually tell you something about why it costs so much for, for gasoline, but then we're not allowed to know. Charlie, your thoughts? Happy St. Valentine's Day, first Thank of you. all. <laughs> and you are correct. <laughs> You are correct, Rob. This is the beginning of the dismantling of a terrible piece of legislation, Dodd-Frank. The underlying truth is, if you hate American jobs... It just jobs, prevented the collapse of the economic system. If you hate system. American jobs, you love Dodd-Frank. And this is just one little piece. This is a good first step. It's a cost-saving measure. It puts capital back into the markets. It frees up American enterprise. Let's talk a little bit about the resignation of Michael Flynn. I mean, what does that mean now moving forward in terms of an investigation, further investigation? There may be a further investigation. I mean, here's the bottom line, though. Michael Flynn put his boss, the president, in a terrible position by putting his number two man, the vice president of the United States, in an even worse position by just simply not telling him the truth. Mm -hmm. You've seen this time after time after time. The underlying incident is not the real cause of the major problems. It's the cover-up, and Michael Flynn really did wrong. But Tony, the, the Democrats today are asking for some type of investigation into just how much he might have said to this Russian ambassador. Oh, I, I think, I, th like I, think this, this is, I think you're exactly right. There is more to come, and this demonstrates one thing, though, that Donald Trump seems to have learned something from Benghazi, which is to try to cut your losses as soon as possible, and whether it's going to be, remains to be seen whether it will be successful, I doubt it. Well, he didn't learn that from Benghazi because Barack Obama didn't fire Hillary Clinton. That's oh, awesome. okay, that's a shock. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> you can catch our Political Insiders Tuesdays right here on CBS 21 News, now at 6. And make sure to join us for Face the State Sunday mornings at 8.30.